Hey guys, what is up? This is Scamless from Minionox coming back to you with Discord.py episode 6. And today we're just going to be making some custom prefixes, so pergo prefixes. Now, in your bot.py file, we're going to need the cogs.json because down here we're going to make a function. So, whatever it's called, we're going to call it git underscore prefix. You don't actually have to call it here. But we'll define it up here. Get underscore prefix. And this will take bot and message. And so the way this is going to work is we're going to read our JSON file. And it's going to be called prefixes. So we'll just quickly make this box so under bot.conflict new file prefixes.json. And that we just need for open and close and curly brackets. Now popping back under here. Now I'm going to go if not string because you do need string because everything's an integer. But our keys are all strings. So essentially, if the guild doesn't have a custom prefix already in the data, we're just going to return commands dot when underscore mentioned underscore or Essentially this is just going to go, so they don't have a custom prefix, I just want the prefix to be hyphen, so this is just a default prefix, but they do have a, they are in the data, they have a custom prefix, so we can just go string, message.guild.id, so essentially this is just going to go into a JSON file and go look if their prefix is in there use is otherwise just do a hyphen and this will also return so whenever the bot's mentioned uh, that will act like it's calling a command now we also want to set something up in our message so whenever the bot is tagged respond with its prefix so we're just going to go if bot.user.mention and message.content and then what we're just going to do here is go data dot now this is essentially the same as our previous one but we're just going to go message dot guild id data prefix was data string message dot build dot id otherwise if it's not have prefix prefix is just going to equal happen And now what we want to do is we're going to set our message that we sent to a variable so that we can add a reaction to it afterwards. So await message dot channel dot send formatted string my prefix here is prefix. And now to add a reaction to that I'm just gonna go to this message dot add underscore reaction and now I'm going to put a unicode one in there so I'm just going to copy that across and so that should then when what user is mentioned in a message it will return the prefix and add eyes to that message now we actually want to set up the command itself to actually change the prefix so we're going to jump into commands.py and just scroll right down to the bottom here. So, making a new command. Command stop command. Now we're going to have a different decorator here. So we're going to go add command stop. But instead of having it on Azana, we're going to have it so anyone that has admin permissions in this uh, guild or channel uh, can change it. 
there's a couple of things you can do here. Heads underscore build underscore permissions. And then admin straighter. Or that'll check against the guild permissions. But if you only want to check channel permissions, uh, you, you just do this. Then we're also going to put a cooldown on this command so that we don't spam our JSON file. Cooldowns.command. Commands.cooldown, sorry. And then we're going to go how many times we want them to be able to run the command. The period of which. And then the type of command. So these are all bucket types. So we can do bucket type dot user. And so that's going to go for every user that runs the command. Every person that tries to run the command, they can only run it once every five seconds. But I'm just going to say it's the default, which is so. Uh, in general, you can only run this command once every five seconds across. Well, guild. So every guild can only run this once every five seconds. Async. Prefix, and then just pass itself CTX, our new prefix, and then we're also just going to set a default value. And so we just want to do cogs underscore json dot read json prefixes so we're just going to read our json file and then we're going to go and set the uh, ctx dot message dot guild dot id and essentially we're going to go for this guild i want you to store prefix and we're just going to write that back to our file data Prefix. Prefixes. And then we're just gonna send a message going, hey wait, I've changed the prefix for you. Your prefix has been set to So that should now set it up so that when you change the prefix, it'll go, hey, look, I've changed your guild prefix oh, to yeah. this. Uh, please use the new prefix in your whatever you want to add to change it again. So we'll just go jump over to Discord and we can take a look at this working. All right, cool. So let's just run the bot real quick. And I just want to show a couple of things in Discord. So this looks correct, but it actually isn't. So let's just run the help command for instance, because it all works, it's all good. Although our prefix command isn't showing up and you might be wondering why that is. Well, if you remember correctly, we set it so that you had to have admin perms. I do not have admin perms in this discord. So if we go prefix, hey, you like the permission to use this command. And that's our error handler from the other episode. So we'll fix that up in a sec, but let's just quickly have a look at why this doesn't work. So add menu docs by, so what we want it to do is respond with its current prefix, but it's not working. Why's that? So we'll just quickly jump into the bot and to see why it's not working, let's just make a couple print statements. So let's just print out message.content and then we're also just gonna print out bot.user.mention. That way we can compare the two. So we'll just wait for the bot to come online real quick and then uh, I think it's up by now. Tag it. Why doesn't it work? Well, look, there's an added exclamation mark. So the way we're gonna fix this is possibly not the best way. However, we're just going to make our own string. So we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna go if string, if bang, 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 bot.user.id, Essentially, the bot that user ID with the exclamation mark is in the message shot content. It should respond with Hey, my prefix here is hyphen and then it adds a reaction. 
and the reason it does that is because we've gone we've got the message object and then we've just clicked air direction and added the eyes which is pretty sick if you ask me so what about the whole prefix thing isn't that like really important well yes it is and the reason it's on administrator only is because well you don't just want anyone in your guild have, having the permission to use it however let's get rid of that for now and I just want to prove a couple things so let's go prefix and let's change it to the dollar sign let's go prefix now what if I want to set it again what if I want to change it back well that's where the cooldown comes in that's tripping a bit because it's just above zero but not enough to be classed as a one so if we just do this real quick let me just copy prefix so let's go and then let's go let's go prefix oh. alright so what we're gonna do here is just to show this to you guys I'm gonna make this yeah I'm start at 51 seconds works <laughs> I mean to be 15 but yeah well so it's our current prefix cool so now let's change the prefix again oh I want to back at a hyphen you must wait 45 seconds to use this command. Wow. So that's our error handler we made the other episode with all that math and div mod and things. And it's essentially that saying you can only use this command uh, once every 51 seconds per guild. It's just a bit of rate limiting things. And so you'll also notice, uh, let me just close the button and restart it. Is that. Let's proof it again. Sign. If you don't set a prefix, it will default to hyphen, which is pretty cool. And you can set prefix to anything. So let's just say prefix. Prefix out. Sorry, there's no space in that. But you can set it to whatever you want. So you can go prefix. Prefix. <laughs> Prefix. Not sure how it handles spaces, but yeah, just I haven't changed anything actually. Alright, let's set that back. But you can do it to whatever you want. And now, also, you might be wondering just another thing to go over is how come we don't have an event here where, let's just say, instead of on member join, it's on guild join? Why don't you set something in your prefix file so that whenever we join a guild we set a prefix well there's no point really because our get prefix function returns a default value so we don't need to set one I feel this is best to have it hard coded because you can't rely on your bot always being online when it joins a guild what if you restart your bot it joins a guild and then you don't have a default and it's not in your prefixes it's just gonna ruin your bot it's gonna trip it's gonna crash so I feel it's best to just put defaults in there and it also just frees up because you don't need to store it if I don't have a custom prefix. It's all handled by that line there, line 19. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Until next time, happy coding and yeah, get to it guys. I'll see you around.